Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Mississippi Queen by a Mountain and the great Leslie West. Now this one we're going to take a look at all the riffs and the chords in the song and the first intro solo you just saw me play and the solo that kind of goes over the second verse. The main guitar solo I'm going to do in the next lesson. Just Some people just want to learn the solo, so I'm just going to give them one video with the main guitar solo. All right, so let's learn all the riffs here and uh, take a look at this intro solo. Now, this the opening is pretty much like this. Pretty simple stuff. We're just um, we're in standard tuning here, by the way. But the 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 track, the actual recording, is just that little bit sharp on the original recording. So when you're playing along in standard tuning on your guitar, it might sound a little strange. You, sometimes you might need to tune each string up just a tad bit to match the recording, or just ignore it. All right, so let's start here. 5-7 on the low E, then a slight bend at the 5th fret on the D string, and then, then you got some vibrato there on the 7th fret on the A, and slide that down to the open string. So we have this. I'm going to do that again. All right, and now we have the actual um, intro solo. So the first phrase of that solo was this. All right, so we're gonna do a whole step bend at the 19th fret on the B string. And then you're gonna grab 19 on the high E string. And when you do that, we're gonna do that note staccato, so you're gonna kill the, the sound real quick. Then you're gonna do a bend at the 19 again, and once again, you're gonna kill that though. And then pick 19 normal, and then 17 with some vibrato on it. So we have this. So you heard those staccato notes in between there. That's what really gives that lick its feel. So you gotta really get those notes nice and short. From there we go to 18, 16 on the G. All right, then we're gonna go back up, starting with that 16 to 18 on the G. Then 17, 19 on the B. We're gonna get that 19 some vibrato, and then back to 17. So all together we have this. All right, next phrase. All right, so kind of more of the same stuff. So we're gonna go up again with 16, 18 on the G to 17, 19, 17 on the G. So, from here, we're gonna go 17, 19 bend again, 19 on the high E again. This time, you're gonna pick the bend that's already there, and then pick the normal 19, and then 17. So we have this. Then over to 18 on the G, back to 17. You're gonna do a quick pull off from 20 to 17. And then you can pick that 17 again and just slide it down. All right, so I'll play through that solo once again, kind of slow for you. Here we go. All right, so that's when the verse comes in and that full verse riff, uh, it kind of bleeds over. The end of that solo was over the beginning of the riff, but I'll play the whole riff for you here. Here we go. All 
All right, so that's basically, this is a really a blues progression, and this is over the one chord here. So we're gonna start here. The sliding from a power chord from the fifth fret on the A string, so it's five on the A, seven on the D and the G. Slide it, hit it and slide up two frets. Then you're gonna strum that chord while adding the low E string in there. And then slide it back pretty much to nothing. All right, and then from there we're gonna to go to, we're gonna play the open E string and the seventh fret on the A string together three times. And then the, set, the fifth fret there with a slight bend on the A string, then back to the seventh. So we have this. A little bend or some vibrato on that five. And then back to the slide. And this time we have a different ending. So we have the open E, pull off three to zero on the low E, and then grab the second fret on the uh, D string. Now when you're doing this pull off, you're kind of pulling that low E string down. It might get a little quarter step bend in there. And then when he's coming back up to repeat, he'll hit the bottom three strings open there. So we have this all together. Repeat. All right, now we take it to the four chord in the progression, which will sound like this. All right, so that's pretty much the same thing. We're gonna now accept the sliding from the uh, power chord built off the third fret of the low E string. Third fret there, the low E, five on the A and the D. Pick that, slide up two frets. And then we're gonna come up and do the same thing we did here on the low, the bottom two strings, except we're gonna do it on uh, the fifth and fourth string now. So that's their open A string underneath it. Back to that riff again. And then, now that was the same riff that we did earlier, but once again, everything one string lower. So, and then you hit open strings again. We're gonna go back to that main riff. And that is the same. So that was the same as before. And now we go to the five chord. So we went one to four, back to one, and now to the five chord. And then it's just basic blues like this. All right, so from there, same little power chord slide thing. This time you're starting at the fifth fret on the low E string power chord. Slide it up two frets. And from there, you're gonna hit the power chord again. Then the fourth fret there, which is the nine. Nine on the A, seven on the D. So it's already part of the chord. And then you can play nine on the D string and pull off real quick to the open D. And then we're back here to the A version of it, or the four chord. I'm gonna do that slide into the fifth fret. And then, now that's that open A string with the seventh fret there on the D. And then when you get here to the fifth fret on the D string by itself, slow bend into that low E power chord. Just the open sixth string with the second fret on the A and the D string. All right, and then after a little bit of uh, space here. All right, now for the second verse, we have the same riff that we just learned, same series of riffs, which goes from the one chord to the four, back to the one and to the five. Now, um, this time though, there's a guitar solo that goes on over it, or a series of fills. Now, the first series of fills sounds like this. All right, pretty simple stuff. We're gonna be doing a bend here at the seventh fret on the B string. And then, as you're doing that whole step bend, you're gonna grab the seventh fret on the high E. 
then pick the 7 on the B again, release that bend down to the 5th fret. So we have the, you do that again. Now the third time you're going to go, it's pretty much going between, between a whole step and then down to a half step off that 7th fret on the B. Then back to the five. So it's just kind of doing some bends at different points on the seventh fret and then still resolves down to the fifth fret on the B. And then the fourth time through, the same as the first two. All right, from there we have this. All right, so that is the 10th fret bend, at the, a whole step on the B string twice. Then. And that's just uh, 12, 10 on the high E. And then a pre-bend there at the 10th fret on the B string. Whole step, then bring it down. And then we're gonna 8th fret on the B and to the 9th on the G. All right, now from there we have this. All right, so this is a pretty simple, just basic blues. A couple of bends of the 15th fret on the B string, whole set bends, hold it, and then release, and pull off to the 12. And then into the 15th fret bend on the high E string, then 15, 12, over to 15 on the B. So we have this. All right, now to end this little solo that goes over the verse, you have this. All right, more basic blue stuff, nothing too difficult. Whole step bend there at the 15th fret. Release, 12 on the B, and then you're gonna do two bends at the 14 on the G string. All right, then grab 15 on the B, and then Another bit of the 14, and then 14 normal to the 12. And then you're back to the uh, same little kind of little section that comes in right before the main guitar solo, which we're going to take a look at in the next lesson.